Hello there. Our brush tonight is my Rooney Restore. It's a got a, I think it's a 22 millimeter Virginia Shang. Oh no, uh, Golden Nib two band. Badger, Slamming Knot. And the soap tonight is Pachenza from Sterling. This is slamming good soap. It just, the scent on this soap is outstanding. I'm going to put a little bit of warm water on it. I have the brush sitting in the scuttle. We're going to go ahead and, and load that up. So it went from wondering whether or not we were going to be above freezing at night to somebody needs to baste me <laughs> pretty quick. Uh, it's flipping hot. Today was forecast 95 and I believe it probably usually around here if they forecast 95 it was probably like 97 or 98 but it was blooming hot. I just got a chance to clean off the uh, air conditioner in the living room and we cranked that up but of course it's not got the ability to win the unit it's not got the ability to uh, do the whole house we have one here in the bedroom but that air conditioner is shot and we need a new one and that ain't happening anytime soon so there's a fan over here you probably hear it. the microphone that I'm using probably picks it up I apologize for it, but it's necessary because it's boiling hot. I can, even with the fan on, I got sweat rolling down my back regions right now. It's hot. So anyway, I have five, six days growth, maybe a week if I'm, you know, on the outside. I, I, I can't remember the last time I shaved and not really... Uh, worried about it, but I got a good amount of growth for me. So we're going to go ahead and lather up. Lovely. I love this knot and I love this blooming soap. Sterling is slamming good, so everybody knows it already. It's not like I'm revealing any secrets. <laughs> or anything like that, but I mean, when Rod was uh, early, I don't know if like it's at the beginning of it, I'm sure it wasn't, but really early, when I first came here on YouTube, uh, I bought a truckload of his samples. He was selling samples for like a dollar or two dollars or something like that and I bought a bunch and then two different people I think sent me a bunch of his samples and so I I shaved I did a series As a matter of fact I think I did two different series on his soaps early on it, it was when they were hard pucks and he was using beef tallow and some people were saying, well, it smells kind of funny and stuff. It was slamming good soap then. Uh, there were a couple of scents, just a couple, and all of them that I tried, that I could smell that that tallow was kind of an issue or could kind of be an issue for other people. It didn't bother me. But uh, for the most part, his scents were so good that you really couldn't tell it. And the shave was flipping out, standing, and still is. So, Rod, if you're looking, uh, I don't know if you remember that or not, um, he offered to like give me a discount on uh, an order or something, just being courteous, and I never took him up on it. Uh, I didn't do it for that. I did it because I was trying to feed a channel, <laughs> a, a young channel, and the soaps were absolutely magnificent. So, anyway... The razor tonight is my chic eye modeler, eye series. 
I just picked this up for like three dollars or five dollars something like that at a local thrift store and I have shaved with this two or three times and I flip and love this is my favorite of the shicks that I've shaved with the shick injectors that I've shaved with I just love this razor it's, it's fantastic it has a, a Chinese what they call a chick blade a chic Chinese blade in it so and this this blade's got about three shaves on it which means it's got a while yet to go before it needs replacing I don't know how many shaves I get off of one of these blades now. I think I really are. When I first started shaving with them. I got about seven. But I can guarantee you I can probably get a lot more off of them now. That's something. If you shave, if you shaved for any length of time, the uh, the preconceptions that you have based on your experience from the beginning of wet shaving, you need to start questioning them. Because as you become a better shaver, as your face gets used to this type of shaving, things are going to be different, things are going to change. You should go back and try those blades that you got laying around that you tried early on and you didn't like them. You should go back and try that soap that you still got laying around that you didn't like, that you thought wasn't any good, that, that you thought didn't lather well, that kind of thing. You should go back and try them. Uh, you, you, I believe, I predict that if you do that, you're going to be surprised at the difference you're going to find over time since time has gone by uh, time changes everything always question what you believe that you know We'll just slick as snot like all of his soaps have always been. But yeah, I should. Uh, I should order more of these. I just, I've got so much soap. Uh, but I should, I should order more of these because like I said, and this was a gift, but I should order more of these because they are, uh, they bring back memories of the, my early days here on YouTube.
It's gorgeous. That's a lovely shade. Let me rinse off. Dry off. Lovely. Very nice. Alright. And I was going to use Captain's Choice North with this as an aftershave because um, I think the pine would really go well with this scent. Uh, but uh, you, you can use anything. Um, I know, you know, we have fun uh, matching aftershaves and soaps and stuff. A lot of us do. And I do sometimes if I have the, the product. Uh, but... Honestly, I don't care how strong the soap is. It's the sin in the soap is not going to last very long. Nowhere near as long as the aftershave will. And it's not going to interfere. They're not going to clash or maybe in the very beginning. But usually what will happen is the aftershave is strong enough that you won't smell the soap anymore anyway. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. But I have a sample of the Pacienza. Here, and I'm going to go ahead and use it because it's absolutely a gorgeous scent. And the citrus is really powerful in the aftershave, not as much in the soap, but I'm loving that. That's wonderful. Uh, would be like just I'm trying to find a little would be kind of like the uh, really piquant or spicy notes in the pine in that north same kind of deal either one of them would be lovely but that's fantastic it's a lovely shave I appreciate you coming along I'll talk to you later